As more courses shift from a face-to-face -to, -face to blended or fully online delivery, you may be looking for new ways to engage your students with active or collaborative activities. Engaging learning activities can increase student motivation and success across all course modalities by requiring students to engage in meaningful activities and think deeply about the concepts they're mastering. When students are given the opportunity to engage in active and collaborative activities, such as working together to solve a problem, they are more likely to retain what they've learned and stay motivated to do well within the course. Additionally, active learning requires students to engage in higher order critical thinking at the levels of application, analysis, evaluation, and creation of Bloom's taxonomy. In this video, we will provide some practical strategies and tools to promote student engagement and active learning in the design of your course activities. The keys to developing effective online learning activities are to create them so that the activities include opportunities for active learning, allow for different types of interactions such as student to student or instructor to student, are sequential so each activity builds on the one before, and include opportunities for students to think and reflect on what they are learning, how they are learning, and the importance of what they are learning with useful feedback from peers or the instructor. Designing active learning activities also allows you to be creative and think outside of the box. It is a great opportunity to take concepts that may be difficult to understand and have those concepts come alive for students. But what are some examples of active learning activities? They can take the form of debating a current event or engaging in a case study in discussion groups, participating in a simulation or scenario, interviewing experts in the field, or finding and sharing examples from the real world that reflect course topics or concepts in action. So when designing your learning activities, consider the following questions. What are your goals for the activity? How does this activity align to the course outcomes? How will the students be assessed? Are there opportunities for collaboration or student interaction? And are there any needed tools or technologies that will enhance this activity? As you work through designing your learning activities, be sure to visit our faculty resources page for help with alignment, assessment design, and other essential course design principles and resources. Next, we're going to cover some various activities and tools that are available in Moodle to help you create your engaging learning activity. H5P, short for HTML5 Package, is a plug-in tool that helps produce and run interactive content within Moodle and can be used to create embedded quizzes and games, slideshows and simulations, and annotated videos. H5P facilitates active learning by allowing students to interact with course materials beyond reading a textbook or watching a lecture to check their understanding or engage in problem solving and critical thinking activities on their own time and at their own pace. H5P activities provide learners with instant feedback, which is key to effective formative assessment. H5P also makes it possible to build interactive, game-based design principles into your learning, and interactive content produces immediate responses to signal to learners that they were successful or not successful through rewards like badges, points, or fun animations. This is also a good technique for giving learners time to work through content to correct errors, misconceptions, or run scenarios multiple times. H5P also allows you to share and reuse content with an ever-growing library of activity examples that can be downloaded and reused in your course. For a more simple Moodle native option, you can also use the Moodle quiz activity to create short, auto-graded quizzes that give students the same immediate formative feedback about their learning that H5P can also provide. Discussion forums are another great way to engage students in active learning. By extending learning into a discussion forum, students achieve higher order thinking through their interactions between students and the instructor. And by using a variety of prompts, forums can lead to rich, critical discussions whether students are actively reflecting on a current scenario and discussing problem resolution or providing a case analysis. 
For tips on writing effective forum prompts and facilitating engaging discussion forums, please see our Designing Effective Online Discussions resource on our website. A tool that can be used to facilitate rich discussions or presentations outside of a traditional text-based forum is VoiceThread. VoiceThread is a collaborative multimedia slideshow that holds images, documents, and videos and allows students to navigate slides and leave comments in five ways by using voice, text, an audio file, or video via a webcam. This way, VoiceThread allows for active multimedia discussions, but in an asynchronous format. An instructor can set up a single VoiceThread that students contribute comments to, creating a multimedia discussion board, or they can require that students create their own VoiceThreads to create a multimedia presentation. One of the best ways to promote collaborative learning at the highest levels of critical thinking, evaluation, and creation is by assigning a group project in which students work together to produce a paper, presentation, or other final output with checkpoints throughout the semester. Moodle provides various tools and activities to facilitate group work. First, you will need to set up groups and groupings in Moodle so that students can interact in group-specific forums to discuss project progress, as well as submit the assignment as a group. This means that only one student needs to submit for each group but you are able to assign a grade to all group members. For easy file sharing, it is recommended that students create a shared folder in OneDrive so they can easily share and collaborate on project documents throughout the semester. If creating a high stakes group project where students must work together, you may also want to create a group evaluation survey so students can provide feedback on fellow group members. The Moodle feedback activity allows you to create survey questions for students to fill out so they can provide feedback about the overall group project and their fellow group members. Multimedia projects in which students produce something like a short video, recorded presentation, or infographic to demonstrate their learning can provide a more engaging alternative to traditional exams. By creating something new, students also demonstrate achievement of the highest level of critical thinking. For presentations in which peer feedback is needed, students can utilize their private Zoom meeting room to record their presentation, then post the public link to a discussion forum for their fellow students to watch and provide feedback. Regardless of what tool or activity you use, the essential components of effective active learning activities are the same, whether delivered in the online learning environment or in the classroom. Remember that each of your activities should have the following characteristics or components. A clear purpose and aligned to a specific and measurable learning outcome. A mechanism for assessing and providing feedback to students, such as a rubric or grading guide. And detailed directions for completing the activity, including instructions for using any new tools and uploading the submission. Other components you may wish to consider in your activity planning are what you need to do to ensure your students are ready to actively participate, such as creating a short tutorial video on how to use the new tool, and how you might incorporate feedback from students about their experiences to improve the activity for the next round of students. By creating intentionally designed active learning activities throughout your course, you can not only captivate student minds and help them deepen their understanding of the concepts taught, but also create a truly memorable learning experience. For more information on the technologies covered in this video, visit grok.lsu.edu. If you have any Moodle or technology related questions or would like assistance, please contact the Faculty Technology Center at 225-578-3375, option two, or email ftc at lsu.edu.